Welcome to Living Healthy and Aging Well. My name is Ken Hagland, and we are broadcasting from the AM950 radio station that overlooks Bryant Lake Regional Park, located in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. It is another beautiful day here in the Twin Cities, and I am so grateful to be here with you today. I hope all of you listening are doing well. We are on the air every Saturday from noon to one to talk about your health and your life. We cover a wide range of topics to help you and your loved ones improve and enjoy your quality of life. I want to thank all of you that leave us messages on our radio show phone line. We appreciate hearing from you and we welcome your comments, questions, and topics for future shows. Also, if you are interested in being a guest on our radio show, please call or text us at 612-999-3426. You can also contact us on our website at livinghealthyradio.com. There you can find information about upcoming guests as well as listen to our previous shows. We look forward to hearing from you. We are adding new listeners to the show each week, not only here in the Twin Cities of Minnesota, but also throughout the country. You can find podcasts for all of our radio shows on the AM950 radio website, and we can also be found on your favorite streaming services like iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and many other. You can also watch our broadcast live on the radio station's Facebook page at AM950 Radio. All right, joining me in a few minutes will be Angela Woosley, MA, owner of Inspired Journeys, and we'll be discussing options at the end of life that reduce our final carbon footprint on the earth. Certified by the Green Burial Council, Inspired Journeys is the Midwest's first woman-owned and client-centered death care provider, offering a full spectrum of services from green burial water cremation, funeral celebrant services, end-of-life doula work, to inviting folks into caring for their dead. Angela is past president of the National Home Funeral Alliance and taught in the program of mortuary science at the University of Minnesota for 10 years before she heeded the call to meet families at the threshold between life and death. You will enjoy listening to my conversation today with Angela Woosley. All right, if you have a question for us today, there are two ways to reach us. First, by calling the AM950 radio station and our friendly show engineer, Patrick, will get your call on the air. Our phone number is 952-946-6205. Once again, 952-946-6205. Or you can text us your question at 612-999-3426. Now, don't panic. If you missed our contact numbers, I'll repeat them throughout the show. Also, please don't wait until the show's ended, folks, to call or text us with your questions. We often receive many of the same questions after the show has ended. So if you have a question, many others do as well. So please feel free to contact us during the show. We are looking forward to answering your questions. We received several calls with our show last time with Kyle Woody. He was the, He's the dr- executive director and co-founder of Jack's caregiver coalition and Kyle discussed what he believes to be one of the biggest and most important challenges a guy can face in his lifetime and that is to be a caregiver for a loved one facing a health crisis. He also believes that every guy has the potential to rise to that challenge and bring to it his boldest and most confident self. So if you have any questions about that great conversation I had with Kyle Woody, please Listen to our show on the AM950 website, or you can visit jackscaregiverco.org. That's jackscaregiverco.org for more information. All right. I am so excited to welcome my guest for today's show, Angela Woosley, owner of Inspired Journeys. We're going to have a great conversation about all the wonderful things that she is doing and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So welcome to the show, Angela. Thank you so much for having me. I'm delighted to be here. Yeah, this is going to be great. Um, we're not going to get through everything because you have so much to talk about, but we're going to do the best we can. Um, and this is a topic that is, uh, is you know, very important to me in the field that I'm in. Um, and it's a, I think it's a great opportunity for people to broaden their understanding of the options and choices they have 
for end of life and death and um, all the services that can be um, provided by that. So before we begin our conversation, the audience loves to learn about the guest on the show. So we get a little, little bit of a background would be helpful. Sure. Thank you. So I've been a Minnesota licensed mortician since about 2004 when I graduated from the U. Um, and I've been working in funeral service uh, in the broadest sense ever since. Um, in 2009, I started, uh, I t accepted a teaching position at the U of M, uh, teaching in the program of mortuary science, and spent a decade um, educating students. Uh, basically, a whole generation of students came through my classrooms. And, uh, and over that time, I was able to learn so much more about um, the wide variety of options that most folks aren't aware of. Right. And I think that uh, raising awareness and uh, bringing those options to the Twin Cities was really important to me. So um, I went through celebrant training. Um, I went through end-of-life doula training. Uh, and I learned so, so much about water cremation, which we were the first state in the union to legalize. Oh, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, water cremation was first legalized here. We also have a wide variety of options with green burial. And just there's a lot of things that people can do to reduce that carbon footprint. Um, it's just like a, in your home, you can recycle or you can compost or you can get an EV car and every single step you take uh, on its own is a great, a, a great help to mm -hmm. the planet. So um, yeah, being able to educate folks about that is yeah. really a pleasure. Yeah, so uh, you, in your uh, bio you sent me, you said your mother was a registered nurse <laughs> and your father was a pastor. Yes. Right? <laughs> and so how you phrased it was if you squint real hard, <laughs> you can see how that ended up right. with you in, in your journey <laughs> and, uh, and the passion that you have for what you do. Right. Take a nurse and a pastor, cross your eyes and squint, and you've got a mortician. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fantastic. Um, so, okay, so, so you've got all this great education and I, mean, I love people who give back by teaching because uh, I've, I've learned that you never know a subject as well as when you have to teach it. It's <laughs> and, true. And it's, it's, uh, it's great. I think everybody should have one stab at trying to teach something in life because it, it, it's really rewarding. Um, but let's, let's talk about though, so you ended up becoming your own business owner. Mm -hmm. you now, so what inspired you to do that, I mean, that that's a, a lot of work, and you're you know you're in an area that is kind of unknown, and mm -hmm. it's it's a developing area mm -hmm. um, for people's awareness. But boy, tell us what inspired you to to embark on that journey. Well, the real inspiration was that over the course of that decade teaching, I'd learned about so so many options, and I kept introducing my students to those options, and they were excited, and I was sending them out into the world, and <laughs> I'm excited, and they're excited, and they were, not, they were not able to get any traction offering a lot of those options because funeral service is slow to change, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's funny that we say it's very traditional because it's only a tradition of about <laughs> 200 years, and really for, for modern funeral homes, really only about 60 years, yeah. Um, yeah. you know? But um, so I thought, well, you know what? These are all great options. Why not put them together? Uh, I see these... I see these um, I see these services as naturally fitting into uh, a funeral home's offerings. Uh, and if no one else is going to do it, by gum, <laughs> <laughs> no time like the present and why not just offer it? Uh, right. When, Especially learning about the rise with, you know, you, you understand with your um, background in hospice, the rise of hospice means that more and more folks are caring for their own before yes. death. Yes. And so at that moment of death, then what happens is hospice steps back right. and a funeral com home comes in. And what do they do? They whisk away this person to some undisclosed location, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> We're really good at whisking. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it just didn't make sense to me that if someone was interested and able and excited about caring for their person before death, once that death occurs, 
why not stay and be present and care for that person after death? Yeah. If I bathed my mom before she died, right. I can do that after death. I know how to. Right. And so it, it really was important for me to help folks slow down, be present, and participate and be as involved as they would like in the care of their person because yeah. they're still theirs, right? right? They're not, we right. don't own the dead. Right. <laughs> Funeral right. directors kind of like to imply <laughs> <laughs> that we have some ownership True. stake yeah. and it's not, it's not that at all. Um, so it's more of a matter of partnering. Yeah. Well, well, we're just touching on the subject. This is going to be so much fun to show. It's time for a short break. We'll be right back to continue our, con- our conversation with Angela Woosley, MA, owner of Inspired Journeys, and she is sharing options at the end of life that reduce our final carbon footprint on the earth. And uh, her, she has been certified by the Green Burial Council. Inspired Journeys is the Midwest's first woman-owned and client-centered death care provider. If you have a question, please give us a call, 952 952- 946-6205 or text us at 612-999-3426. I'm Ken Hagland and you are listening to Living Healthy and Aging Well. Peace of mind shouldn't cost a fortune. We keep things simple at Shroman Law because we believe planning for your estate and end-of-life care shouldn't be stressful or expensive. Every client relationship starts with a free consultation so clients have the information they need before making important decisions. From there, we work closely with clients to ensure they are choosing the most efficient and cost-effective plans for their specific needs. Schedule a free consultation today at ShromanLaw.com. That's S-C-H-R-O-M-E-N Law.com. Hi, I'm Mary T, inviting you to experience our integrative Mary T Health and Wellness Center, offering physical, occupational, speech, and lymphedema therapies. Experience our guided imagery, meditation, Tibetan medicine, dry needling, massage services, including cupping and oncology massage. Sign up for our free wellness screenings and learn more at MaryTWellness.com. All major health insurance providers are accepted. Come for therapy experience wellness. Join Edina Rides for education on Saturday, May 4th at Fred Richards Park for a leisurely 5 or 10 mile bike ride. Edina Rides is organized by the Rotary Club of Edina Morningside. Gear up for a day of community spirit. And here's the best part. Your Ride with Edina Rides supports local educational nonprofits like the Edina ABC program. Their goal is to increase the number of well-educated minority students and make it possible for deserving students to reach their full potential. Current student, Joyelle, a high school junior, says she's proud to be part of the Edina ABC program. She says it's been a joyous experience providing her with amazing opportunities from diverse classes to exciting events and meeting wonderful people. Your participation helps sustain organizations like Edina ABC. Registration is easy at edinarides.com. Take advantage of early bird pricing, just $25 for adults and $15 for kids. So gear up and pedal for a purpose on Saturday, May 4th with Edina Rides for Education. More at edinarides.com. Why must the world be so cold? They've gone against what was told. Thinking rape is cool? Think about it. They think it's not wrong. Violence against women, the rape, the abuse, the emotional, physical, They all hold the hate. Think about it. Is it right or wrong? What attracts you? I'm not saying no names, but you laugh. Talk about it like nothing is wrong. Think about it. They all hold the hate. Gotta stop the violence. Stop the hate. Think about it. Sponsored by the Minnesota Indian Women's Sexual Assault Coalition. Have the best Easter you can with the annual Easter brunch at the Park Tavern. Enjoy Easter ham, roast beef, smoked salmon and trout, a full breakfast, all the Easter brunch sides and desserts. Seatings are from 10 until 2 on Sunday, March 31st, and you need reservations. $23.95 for adults, $18.95 for those over 65 and kids under 12, and 5 and under are free. And don't forget the hour of free bowling with every reservation. Call 952-929-6810 on Louisiana Avenue north of Highway 7 in St. Louis Park. A fun, stress-free Easter brunch is waiting for you at the Park Tavern. All 
right. Welcome back. You are listening to Living Healthy and Aging Well, where we talk about helping you and your loved ones improve and enjoy your quality of life. My name is Ken Hagland, and joining me today is Angela Woosley, MA, owner of Inspired Journeys, and she is sharing with us options at the end of life that reduce our final carbon footprint on the earth. And she's been certified by the Green Burial Council and Inspired Journeys as the Midwest's first woman-owned, client-centered death care provider, offering a full spectrum of services from green burial, water cremation, funeral celebrant services, end-of-life doula work, also to inviting folks into caring for their dead. All right. Uh, Angela is the past president of the National Home Funeral Alliance and taught at taught in the program of Mortuary Science at the University of Minnesota for 10 years before jumping out on our own and uh, and doing great work here. So if you have a question for us, folks, please give us a call, 952-946-6205, or text us at 612-999-3426. All right, Angela, I know people are curious about how can I get more information about what they're talking about. What are the best ways for people to... Uh, get more information or, or answer, get their questions answered? Well, I mean, I do have my own website. Yes. At inspirejourneysmn, like Minnesota, dot com. Mm-hmm. Um, but other other places to start are the Green Burial Council's website. Um, uh, they have a wide variety of listings of providers, uh, funeral providers, casket or shroud providers, and cemeteries who are also certified by the Green Burial Council. Um Let's see, other places you can look to. um, There's a group of people um, that call themselves Land Conservation Natural Burial, Mm -hmm. and they are um, providing options. They're trying to work to create a conservation burial ground here in the Twin Cities area. Mm -hmm. There's also NOR Minnesota. Uh, dot org. We are uh, together, a, a citizen group is working to help legalize NOR or natural organic reduction, also known as human composting. Um, so that is going through the legislature here in Minnesota. So you can learn more about um, that, those efforts at NORMinnesota.org. Um, Let's see here. Other ways to learn about the options. Honestly, if you just yeah. start with inspiredjourneysmn.com, you'll right. get all the information say, you need. Yeah, and, I've got a lot of resources Angela there. Angela has, yeah, well, you can tell she's been a teacher because she's got all these great resources. <laughs> and it's a beautiful website packed full of information. Um, I was uh, going through there yesterday. I thought, wow, this will be a fun interview. So um, anyway, well, good. Well, and we'll remind people throughout the show that of your website because that's a great place to start thank you um all right well let's let's talk about okay so i'm sure people are really curious well the words n-o-r in fact uh i i learned that that there's also another word out there called terramation yes that's is that a different that's a brand name oh i see Mm -hmm. interesting Mm -hmm. it's like band-aid or kleenex or right right so in with both uh, water cremation yeah. and human composting, there's been – because they're newer processes, there's kind of been this inf- influx or rush of what to call these processes. Right. Um, and so with NOR, so the technical name is natural organic mm-hmm. reduction. That's how it's defined in legislation. Mm-hmm. Um, it's familiarly – familiarly, (laughs) most people call it, human composting. Um, And that term, you know, feels, it has, it has weight to it. It it feels a little different than the sterile version of natural organic reduction. And so terramation is, um, is the process that's been what, what it's called at return home. Uh, but the first provider in the country was recompose. And so they oh. call their process recomposition. Okay. Um, so there's brand names for these things, but NOR is probably the simplest, most straightforward way to describe it right. uh, okay. rather than human composting, which sounds weird. Yeah, that, but, that, yeah. Right. it does have just uh, a different, mm. different spin on it. <laughs> well, I mean... I compost, right? Right. And a lot of people do. And so they think, well, 
are we talking banana peels? What What's happening here? Eggshells, right. coffee grounds? Uh, and it's really nothing like that at all. So uh, I don't know if I should go into the NOR process, well, or is that you, jumping the gun? No, no, no. I no, Actually, like I said before, the, as the spirit <laughs> moves us here, we, we, we never stay on track here. So that, that's, that's the one constant about this show, is it kind of as things come up here. Um, but let's... Well, let's do that. Let's maybe park that just because I want to mm-hmm. talk about the services. Um, sure. We've only got a couple minutes left in this segment, mm-hmm. and I want to explore the, your services further in the next segment. But if mm-hmm. we could just start get an introduction to some of the different services you have because it's, it's a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> at, over the past 10 years, I, I threw on many hats. And so <laughs> I would say that uh, – End-of-life doula work is one small piece of the work that I offer. I offer grief companioning. Um, I offer um, event celebrant services. So sometimes folks just need an MC uh, or someone to to lead a funeral service. Um, But the bulk of my funeral home's work is in providing green burial options, um, water cremation, as well as uh, home funeral uh, vigil guidance or home funeral care yeah. assistance. Um, so so that's kind of the bulk of the work. Okay, okay. Um, so you so you kind of act as a guide mm-hmm. in, in many ways, it sounds like, just to help people. And what they should be talking to you about is before a loved one passes, really is kind of getting, well, you know, what are my options? Because I, I find in, in our profession, people don't think that, we're going to die. And they don't realize we have an expiration date <laughs> stamped on us. And, and so, so again, whether it's mm-hmm. advanced directives or it's mm-hmm. uh, the POAs or all the things that a person should be having in place, mm-hmm. same with your services. They should really be contacting you before they really need your services to a certain extent. Well, I would say that it offers a lot of peace of mind to have a plan in place, to get your ducks in a row, to get organized with a health care directive, with a POA, with uh, a will, um, all of those pieces, and as well as what do you want done with your body after death. And, And there's always, once you hear what the, the different options, you click on one and you just know, this is what I want. Yeah. You know, you know, boy, I don't want to be cremated. I don't want to be buried. But when you hear the thing that's possible, you say, oh, oh, well, that's what I want for my body. Right. And so everybody's different. Right. It's finding that right option for them. And it's one of the greatest gifts you can give to your survivors is a plan. This I is agree. what I want because it takes, I mean, there's a lot of work that goes on. And so it's important to, your wishes are, are known. I agree. All right. It's time for a short break, folks. We'll be right back to continue our conversation with Angela Woosley, MA, owner of Inspired Journeys. And we're talking about options at the end of life that reduce our final carbon footprint on Earth. If you have a question for us, please give us a call, 952-946-6205, or text us at 612-999-3426. I'm Ken Hagland, and you are listening to Living Healthy and Aging Well. End of life decisions are not easy to make. Hi, I'm Mary T. of Mary T. Hospice Care. It's important to make sure that this difficult time is meaningful and comforting to you and your loved ones. Our hospice team provides an individualized program of physical, emotional, spiritual, and practical care so your loved one is comfortable and not in pain. At Mary T. Hospice, we understand that choosing the right hospice care provider can be overwhelming, but we're here to assist you. Learn more today at MaryTInc.com. Supporting the best local and independently owned restaurants in the Twin Cities has never been easier. You'll find an expansive list of local dining options at eatlocalminnesota.com, from classic American comfort food to authentic flavors from around the world. Specializing in Szechuan and Peking cuisine, the Great Wall Chinese Restaurant has been a local favorite since 1981. They offer one of the most extensive menus in the Twin Cities. Favorites include the sesame chicken, imperial beef, and Peking duck. The Great Wall Restaurant is located off 45th and France with takeout available too. More at greatwallrestaurant.us. 
Nightingale on 26th and Lindale is the ultimate venue for unforgettable gatherings. Whether big or small, your event will be a hit with delicious food and drinks served in a warm and inviting atmosphere. Plus, Chef Carrie's special creations add that extra touch. Craft cocktails, curated drinks, and a diverse menu make Nightingale perfect for any celebration. More at NightingaleMPLS.com. Experiencing an injury or illness? Wondering if you'll be able to keep your job or when you can return to work? The Minnesota Retain program may be able to help. Participants may qualify for free support from experts who can guide you through the next steps to get you back to work quickly and safely. Visit mnretain.com or call 507-284-4537 to learn more. Minnesota Retain is fully funded under a grant awarded by the U.S. Department of Labor and the Social Security Administration. This message is brought to you by Minnesota Retain, this station, and the Minnesota Broadcasters Association. The 2024 Consumer Reports Best Vehicle Edition is out, and once again, Toyotas from Rudy Luther Toyota dominate the field. Four Toyota models make their top picks for 2024, the Prius, the Camry Hybrid Prime, the RAV4 Prime, and the Highlander Hybrid. Consumer Reports recommends all the following Toyotas. The Prius, the Prius Prime, the Corolla, the Corolla Hybrid, the Camry, the Camry Hybrid, the Sienna, the Corolla Cross, the Corolla Cross Hybrid, the RAV4, the RAV4 Hybrid, the RAV4 Prime, the Highlander, and the Highlander Hybrid. See for yourself. Visit Rudy Luther Toyota and test drive one today, 394 and 169 in Golden Valley. This is Chad, owner of AM950. Our station is located on a marsh, and we do our best not to disturb that environment. So I was thrilled to discover Natural Lawn. Their safer products and soil tests ensure that your lawn will be healthy, lush, and green. I don't even have to worry about bringing my furry friend to the station, thanks to the great care from Natural Lawn. I highly recommend Natural Lawn to keep your lawn beautiful, healthy, without compromising safety and sustainability. More at Natural Lawn. Dot com. With a look at your AM 950 weather, I'm Patrick Lilia. Sunshine today with a high around freezing, then tonight cloudy with a low of 26. Cafe Latte is unlike any restaurant you've ever experienced. Grab a tray and pick from their award-winning selections of soups, salads, sandwiches, and mouth-watering desserts. Cafe Latte, Victoria Street and Grand Avenue in St. Paul, or CafeLatte.com. AM 950 KTNF, St. Louis Park, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Listening to Living Healthy and Aging Well, where we talk about helping you and your loved ones improve and enjoy your quality of life. My name is Ken Hagland, and joining me today is Angela Woosley, MA, and she is owner of Inspired Journeys. And we're talking about the different options available to you at end of life that can help reduce our final carbon footprint on Earth. But before we return to Angela, I want to mention this show is brought to you in part each week by Minnesota Hospice. Minnesota Hospice is an independent, locally owned medical practice serving our Twin Cities communities with comprehensive end-of-life health care. The team at Minnesota Hospice provides patients and family members with award-winning end-of-life health care services. You may not be aware that hospice brings compassionate medical, social, emotional, and spiritual services to your home with typically no cost to you or your family. Please do not wait to learn how hospice care can benefit you and your loved ones. If you have any questions regarding end-of-life care or support, please contact the compassionate team of experts at Minnesota Hospice. They are available to answer your questions 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A registered nurse will be answering that phone if you give them a call. Their phone number is 952-898-1022. Once again, that number, 952-898-1022 or visit them online at minnesotahospice.com. All right, let's return to our conversation with Angela Woosley. If you have a question for us, please give us a call, 952-946-6205, or text us at 612-999-3426. Angela, how can people find out more information about your amazing services and if they have questions or want more information? They can uh, visit my website at inspiredjourneysmn.com. That's inspiredjourneysmn.com. 
Um, or they can uh, call our funeral home yeah. at 651 300 0119 or text as well. Uh, on the website, you can make an appointment with me directly. Um, if, uh, if it's 2 a.m. and you know what mm-hmm. your schedule is, uh, if you go to the Contact Us tab, uh, you can schedule a meeting directly through Calendly. Oh, perfect. Mm-hmm. I see that right now. Yes, mm-hmm. I, I would really encourage folks, inspiredjourneysmn.com. And uh, if you just, I just did Inspired Journeys, something, and it popped up first on the list. So mm-hmm. great visibility um, <laughs> on the online search engines. So it's, uh, it's full of great resources and information, folks. So be sure and, and check that out. All right. Let's talk about options. Sure. We, we, th- we've been teasing the, <laughs> the, the audience for half hour now about these end of life options. Why don't you go through some of the options with us, Angela? Sure. I think that probably the lowest carbon footprint option that we have available to us right now in Minnesota is green burial. Mm. Green burial can be accomplished at many cemeteries throughout the Twin Cities and across the state. Um, Several of them are certified by the Green Burial Council. Mm. But if you have a cemetery already in mind, you can also ask that cemetery if they're willing to make greener accommodations. And that can look like so many different aspects. Like I said earlier, if you recycle and you compost, those are two different options. You can take any of these steps to reduce your carbon footprint with green burial. You can forgo embalming. You don't have to be embalmed in the state of Minnesota. Um, You can have a public, public viewing or visitation without having to be embalmed. As long as um, the person is cooled with dry ice or techni ice uh, is what we use, um, you can have a public visitation. Your folks can come and see you without having to embalm. And that, that, that skips all of those formaldehyde-based mm-hmm. um, chemicals that are used. Another way that you can reduce your carbon footprint with green burial is instead of choosing a hardwood or steel casket, you can choose a casket from renewable resources like bamboo or seagrass um, that are kind of look like baskets uh, mm-hmm. or, um, or or other like recycled. Um, cardboard type options as well. Instead of a casket, you can also choose uh, to use a shroud. And shrouds uh, are available online at a lot of different retailers that are pre-made with straps and spaces for backboards to support a person's weight. But you can also use a sheet. A sheet with ceremony is a shroud. Um, I know that my mom specifically has asked that when she dies, she will be shrouded in her great Aunt Bernice's yellow embroidered sheets. And we are absolutely going to fulfill that request for her when the time comes. Um, So those are just two ways. Another thing that you can do with green burial is um, ask the cemetery if you can skip the outer burial container. Many cemeteries require a concrete outer burial container uh, that the casket uh, or coffin goes into before the burial is complete. And the reason that they require that is to maintain the weight of the earth on top of that grave. There's no state law in Minnesota or federal law that requires cemeteries to use an outer burial container. So you can ask your cemetery if they could skip it. Um, And if they say no, you can also uh, choose one that doesn't have a bottom so that you are still contacting the earth so that you can return to the earth more naturally, but then the lid on top would, um, would maintain the weight of the earth. So that simply reduces the concrete that's used. So less concrete is better. No concrete is best, right? Um, Another option would be skipping the granite or bronze marker or headstone. Often with a green burial, uh, instead of uh, mined, you know, or quarried granite or bronze uh, marker, you can plant a native um, tree, bush, shrub, plantings, flowers, um, and and locate that person by the tree. Or you can use a high-tech solution of taking a GPS marker, placing it in the casket or shroud, and then you can always locate that person's space in a cemetery, even without an above-ground marker. Wow, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So that's Very kind of a lot of yeah. a lot of the green burial aspects. Yeah. yeah. So you mentioned water cremation. Mm-hmm. How does that work? Water cremation, again, we were the first in the country to legalize it, and it's a process that really parallels flame cremation. So in flame cremation, a person's body is placed into a cremation chamber. Heat and flame are directly applied to them using natural gas, and that breaks the person's body down to bone fragments is what remains. We scrape those bone fragments out of that chamber. We process them down to a consistency that looks like what we call ashes. It's kind of sandy and and grainy. And then um, we return those cremated remains to the family. However, in water cremation, a person is placed into a chamber. This is going to sound very familiar. <laughs> but instead of being applied to uh, with direct heat and flame, the, uh, the chamber is filled with a water and a strong base, potassium hydroxide. And over the course of the same amount of time as flame cremation, the person's body is reduced to bone fragments. We remove those bone fragments from the chamber, we dry them, and we process them to look like ashes. So we still get the same result in both circumstances, but with water cremation, we're using far, far less natural gas because we don't have to produce heat and flame to to break that person's body down. The uh, strong base is doing that work for us. Um, Another benefit of water cremation, apart from the reduced carbon footprint, is that amalgam dental fillings that have mercury, that mercury is sequestered. So it stays in the teeth. It's not released into the environment. With flame cremation, mercury is vaporized and sent up the flue to pollute the environment. It, in all fairness, it makes up a very small amount of the mercury emissions in the country, but it is one more thing that we can prevent from entering the atmosphere. Um, another benefit is that we get almost 25% more cremated remains that we can return to the family because nothing is going up a chimney flue, right? Um, so an, a common question is, well, what happens to the rest of the person, right? In flame cremation, it goes up the flue, the chimney. In water cremation, it is pH balanced and then returned into the sewer system. And I know that doesn't sound awesome, but you know what? That's exactly where our poop goes. So we're <laughs> able to <laughs> we're able to process water uh, for for communities across the country with uh, with no problems. So uh, you can pick which direction mm-hmm. the remainders are going to go. Um, but the benefits of water cremation are just really fantastic to mm-hmm. be able to have that option. Yeah, no, it sounds like it. Um, and since the water is sterilized... It absolutely is. So, right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's no DNA that remains right. in the effluent is what they call mm-hmm. it. It's sterile. It's, it's uh, it, again, it, it's then pH balanced and return to return to the yeah. water system. Okay. Well, with a few minutes left here, let's start the conversation of NOR, and then we'll mm-hmm. we'll finish that up though in the next segment. So, sure. would you mind starting the conversation? Sure. With NOR. So NOR again, not currently legal. There are seven states where it is legal, and we're hoping that Minnesota will be the eighth state in the union to legalize the process, which was first developed um, by Katrina Spade uh, in Washington State uh, with a process called what she called recompose, and this is a process that absolutely does mirror uh, the composting that we do. And keep in mind, when we are composting in our backyard, we're using a compost container, right? Mm -hmm. So we're not talking about taking a person's body and placing it like open air Mm -hmm. and any any of those terrible images that come to your mind. It's nothing like that. Um, There's a contained system. So a person's body is is laid into this uh, container with alfalfa, straw, and other micronutrients to help start the process of decomposition. And that person's container remains sealed, right? It's their container. And over the course of 30, 60, 90 days, depending on the person, their body is reduced to a rich nutrient uh, compost-like soil um, that can be used to nurture gardens, to uh, further conservation efforts, return to a forest. It produces about a cubic yard of that nutrient-rich soil. So it's more than an urn, right? Right. You wouldn't be getting an urn. You would be getting a truck bed of soil. But 
the beautiful piece of that is that that is your person being returned to you, much like cremated remains are your person coming back to you. But more usable though, you can be like absolutely say, putting it next to trees or, or right, or, you know, right, creating a garden. People talk about uh, spreading cremated remains on their flower garden, but cremated remains are terrible for plants. Nutrient-rich soil is is wonderful for plants, and it's, it's a real benefit. All right, we'll continue this conversation on the next uh, segment here, folks. It's time for a short break. We'll be right back to continue our conversation with Angela Woosley, MA, owner of Inspired Journeys, and we're talking about options at the end of life that reduce our final carbon footprint on Earth. If you have a question for us, please give us a call, 952-946-6205, or text us at 612-999-3426. I'm Ken Hagland, and you're listening to Living Healthy and Aging Well. I'm Rachel Schroman, owner of Schroman Law, and I believe you deserve information. Our firm offers free quarterly estate planning seminars at our office in St. Paul. At these seminars, you can learn the basics of estate planning from an attorney to help you determine which estate planning documents will meet your needs and goals in an efficient and cost-effective manner. You can learn more and register at our website, schromanlaw.com slash events. That's S-C-H-R-O-M-E-N Law. Dot com slash events. The Senior Linkage Line is a free statewide service of the Minnesota Board on Aging, helping older Minnesotans and caregivers find answers and connect to services and supports. Questions about Medicare, transportation, looking to move to senior housing, overwhelmed with prescription drug plans? Call the Senior Linkage Line at 800-333-2433 or visit trellisconnects.org where we help people optimize well-being as they age. That's trellisconnects.org. This is Chad, owner of AM950. After the hail storm last year, we had a number of people stop by the station letting us know we had damage. That's when I call our trusted contractor, Snap Construction. Turns out we didn't have any damage and our roof was still in good health. Ryan, is it common to hear you have damage when you don't? Chad, this can happen more times than not. At Snap Construction, we'll give you a thorough assessment and let you know the condition of your roof. We are trusted by a number of insurance agents in the metro to give them just that, an honest assessment. Last year's storm is just starting to reveal damage on homes that didn't show damage last year. If you were in the path of a storm and were denied, it's worth an extra look. Freezing, thawing conditions and spring rains will wash away the damaged granules that are covering up damage from last year's storm. Call Snap Construction, arguably the most well-reviewed exterior contractor in the metro area, at 612-333-SNAP or find them online at snapconstruction.com. Hi, this is Frank Brown, owner of Minuteman Press Uptown, Minnesota's only minority-owned union printing company. We have big news. We've moved to North Minneapolis. Why did you move? As a black business owner, I wanted to be part of the North Minneapolis community to provide jobs. Are there other reasons you moved there? We have bigger new equipment and outgrew the other location. What kind of new equipment do you have? We have new equipment that allows us to print quality signage and banners. We also have a new inkjet printer, printing larger sheets, improving production efficiencies. Is the new location easy to find? It's not only easy to find, it's more convenient with plenty of parking. We are now located on Washington Avenue North off I-94 and the Dowling exit. So do you still print everything? We print more than everything. We have over 175 Google reviews with a five-star rating. Call 612-870-0777 or visit mpuptown.com. That's mpuptown.com. We print everything. Right, folks, welcome back. You are listening to Living Healthy and Aging Well, where we talk about helping you and your loved ones improve and enjoy your quality of life. My name is Ken Hagland, and joining me today is Angela Woosley, MA, owner of Inspired Journeys, and she is sharing with us options at the end of life 
that can reduce our final carbon footprint on Earth. If you have a question for us, please give us a call, 952-946-6205, or text us at 612-999-3426. All right, Angela, um, this is the last segment here, and I do like to share stories Mm-hmm. Um, with our audience about how your services have helped others. Mm-hmm. Would you would you mind sharing a story with us about how, how you've worked with the family? Well, I would say that one of the most impactful experiences I was able to have was um, a friend of mine contacted me. He, uh, he and his wife and four-year-old daughter lived in the same house uh, above the, uh, his mom, and his mom was failing. And... Mm-hmm. So we connected um, before her death and talked about what options he and she uh, wanted. And she wanted to be buried on her other son's uh, land in Wisconsin. So uh, together, um, my friend and I bathed and dressed and cared for his mom in her in her bed uh, on her level of the house. Um, we. Uh, shrouded her in her favorite sheet uh, with torn strips of her least favorite sheet. Um, <laughs> and, um, and we were able to care for her together. Um, and she spent the night uh, in the home after her death. And one of the benefits of that is that her granddaughter, who, was, who got to get a bedtime story from grandma every night, um, curled up in bed with her every night and so that night she was able to go down uh, and spend time with grandma in a different way and her parents uh, and she read a read a story with grandma one more time and even even she could then experience and understand how grandma was different that grandma had died and she had, she she was so bubbly. She had no fear. She had no apprehension, and she was able to really get an understanding in her little body and brain about what what had occurred. Um, the next morning, I went back to the home, and my friend and I uh, carried mom out to my vehicle. We drove to Wisconsin, where her other son's property was, and uh, they'd had. Uh, a space opened up on his property, um, and together we we placed her body into that space, and we all hand filled that space in together, which is a lot of work and requires many shovels. And at the end, we shared a shot of whiskey and some homemade chili, and shared stories and laughter and love about about his mom, their mom, and uh, and how she would have been. So honored to have that wish fulfilled. Um, it, what what happened was that, uh, in essence, we established a cemetery on her son's property. So, uh, just for for the listeners' benefit, you can't do this in every <laughs> single place. If you're living in downtown Minneapolis, there's <laughs> no way you're going to be able to establish a private cemetery in your backyard. But um, depending on the the place, the city, the state, the county where you are, um, you may be able to to do that. And that was such an impactful um, experience to be able to help them uh, do what she wanted and to partner with them and and pair with them to make that happen. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's one of the many services that your organization can provide, though, to people. That's a, what a great story. I, I just love it when we involve multi-generations mm-hmm. in events like that because it, it they have a connection then to the past mm-hmm. that if they, again, are whisked away, as you said earlier, <laughs> from situations like that, it, it, it loses uh, context and I think continuity for the generations. It does lose context and continuity and it, it makes it difficult, more difficult, as in this granddaughter's case, of understanding what death is and what has happened. Mm -hmm. And instead of whisking and hiding and keeping away, let's, let's slow down. Let's be present. Let's care for her the same way that she was cared for in life together. Yeah. There's nothing scary or, I mean, our bodies are weird and funny and do the same things in death that they do in life. Um, so, um, yeah, 
There's yeah. nothing that just having a uh, having a helpful, knowledgeable companion on that journey can make a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we've talked off the air. Just you know, we've, we've medicalized so many things in mm-hmm. life, and we've disconnected it and sanitized it and sterilized it, and I think we lose some meaning. And mm-hmm. um, and that's what a beautiful story uh, about how connecting those generations together mm-hmm. and having something that they can share, mm-hmm. really forever. And the nice thing is. Mm-hmm. I mean, having having grandma so close. I mean, on someone's property mm-hmm. in Wisconsin now, not Minnesota. Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you got to check your local ordinances and things there. Mm-hmm. Um, we've just got a minute left here. I just want to, mm-hmm. you know, let you touch on a few things. You do so many things. I mean, end of life doula. You have so many things. You want to just mention it briefly? Some of the services that you offer. Sure. So I help families um, coordinate green burial, uh, care for their own loved ones. I help uh, coordinate water cremation, um, flame cremation if they wish. Um, I uh, I offer ce- funeral celebrant services mm-hmm. to officiate or pre- preside over uh, services and yeah. celebrations of life that really truly reflect the spirit of the person who's died. Um, I love I love connecting with people and being able to learn more about their person um, and and honor them in the yeah. right way for each family. So it, it for me it's it's a matter of listening and partnering and making making happen what this family would like to have happen. Wow. And you are so genuine and so authentic and so passionate about what you do. So I, I would encourage people to reach out and contact you if they have any questions. Um, this has been just great, Angela. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. It has really been a pleasure. All right, thank folks. You. We are at the end of the show, unfortunately. And I want to thank Angela Woosley, MA, owner of Inspired Journeys, for sharing with us options at the end of life that reduce our final carbon footprint on the earth. And uh, we've just been so excited to have her here. And we're looking forward to having her back at some point to continue our conversation. Um, We hope you enjoyed today's show. Please contact us with any questions or comments you have regarding today's conversation. You can reach us anytime by voice or text at 612-999-3426. Join us again next Saturday at noon for another broadcast. And thank you for listening to Living Healthy and Aging Well, where we talk about your health and your life. Until next time, choose to live well.